What's going on everybody, it's Starskater7 and today I want to make an update video of the uh, custom fan curve tutorial that I made about Corsair IQ. Um, I'll go ahead and get straight into it because you already know what you came here for. I'm going to go ahead and load up IQ, show you what the interface looks like as soon as you load it up. And when you load it up, you're going to be greeted with whatever it is that you have that you've set to be monitored. So the ASUS motherboard and the Commander Pro, since I have my uh, my fans hooked up to that, is what's showing right here. Also, if you go down to your bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see your different components that are also monitored. Uh, that is my CPU, GPU, my RAM, and also I think, uh, let's see what else is being monitored. Also my motherboard here. Okay, so what you want to do is wherever you have your fans hooked up and monitored, you're going to click on that first and then go down to cooling. Go down to cooling and right now for tutorial purposes i have mine set to extreme as you can see we're running about 1400 or for a little bit over 1400 rpm across the board for all fans so in order to make a custom fan curve what i'm going to do is um well no at first let me do this so as you can see if i hit the drop down it shows me the different profiles that i have that are available to me right now i can change it to quiet right now for each one and then you'll see like the uh, the RPMs kind of go down, but like, you know, not by much. Now it's supposed to be quiet and physically I can hear that it has ramped down, but as you can see, we're still running 1300 and that's supposed to be quiet, okay? As you know that if you're running a CPU, a high-end CPU, it's gonna fluctuate its uh, temperatures often. So the part that you've been waiting for, I wanna make a custom fan curve. I click on the plus right here and it already recognizes that I have a Ryzen CPU. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna rename it, which you don't have to rename it, but I do just cause I want to. I'm just gonna name it Ryzen. All right, and as you can see, what your fan curve is, is 20, 30, 40, whatever it is, mine is not gonna ramp up until I get to about 60 to 70, and that's when I'll start hearing a difference in the RPMs and also the fan, audible sounds. So once you enable that, it becomes part of your dropdowns. Now I can go ahead and change each one to Ryzen and you will physically see that the RPMs are going to drop down to about 700, maybe a little above 680, something like that. And I can physically hear that it's actually changing. So we're dropping all the way down. And also I will note that within this different fan curve, since it's custom, you can change it whenever you want. So if this custom fan curve that it came with is not really, you know, cutting it, you can always change it and move to when your fan starts to ramp up based on the heat, okay? So right now, I'm at 38C, so it's not going to get anywhere near that. And it's not going to start to go up. But pretty much, that is how you do a custom fan curve in Corsair IQ. I hope that this video was informative. I hope that it helped you, and I hope to see you and maybe share it so I can gain some more, uh, some more subs. I'm almost at 1,000 subs. That's my personal goal. If it goes above that, I'm not going to fight it. But anyway... Thank you for supporting me up until this point, and uh, I really appreciate that. So uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know what type of material and content that you want to see, and I'll be sure to make it, because this right here is a hobby for me, and I love making helpful videos for you guys. So um, I guess until next time, see you on the next one. Dark Skater out. Peace.